Hey guys, welcome back to another styling video. For today's video, I wanted to come up with several Valentine's Day outfits. I know it's a little bit early, but Valentine's Day is gonna be here before we know it. So I figured I may as well get some ideas out there. And I'm also brainstorming for myself because I'm not sure what I'm going to wear as of yet. Um, I can't decide if I wanna go all out glam or if I wanna do something a little bit more cute and casual. So brainstorm with me. I also am going to be asking some input on a few of the outfits because I feel like there's some things I could tweak to make them better. So don't be afraid to get into the comments and let me know. I always love helpful critique on my outfits because I feel like it does help me develop my style, but it also just kind of gets another person's input on it um, as long as it's done nicely. So before I jump into it though, if this is your first time here to my channel, I do have a new video up for you every Saturday. So if you want to see more content like this, I'm always getting some girly, very feminine, romantic style videos up. So if you enjoy that type of thing, definitely subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well because that will just let you know what time on Saturday my video is going to be up. So I'm gonna start off with a glam outfit, why not? For me, when I think of Valentine's Day, I always think of a classic red dress. I am renting this one at the moment from Rent the Runway. This is an Ola Johnson dress and I've always had my eye on this dress ever since it came out. I actually was planning on wearing this for Christmas, but this actually makes a beautiful Valentine's Day dress. I love the ruffled neck collars. I feel like it just kind of is my thing. I've been noticing I've been starting to wear those a lot more recently, but it also has this tie around the neck and then you just have like this really pretty pleating detail. But I wanna mix it up a little bit and several of you actually suggested in previous videos that it's a really cool combination to mix pink and red together. So I've been doing that and playing around with it recently and I ended up pairing pink accessories with this dress and I feel like it just completely transformed this beautiful red dress. I mean this in itself is a statement but with the pink accessories I feel like it really does make it very Valentine's Day feel. If you went with black or gold this could really turn into a very Christmassy outfit and I'm trying to stay away from that. I definitely want this to feel more Valentine's but I did start my look off with this very stunning red dress. So I have a couple accessories. First, I'm just gonna share with you the shoes. These are a recent find. I bought these off of Lulu's, very affordable, and they just look so expensive and girly, and they're very easy to wear because the heel is not that big. I find that I can easily walk around in these without feeling overwhelmed. I'm already getting these dirty. That's the only thing. If anybody knows how to clean off this type of material, please let me know because I've really been wearing these a lot and they're already getting pretty dirty. So I've just been like rinsing them off with water. I don't know if I should be doing that, but um, maybe I'll look into that and maybe some of you could give some ideas on how to keep these clean. And then I also did go for my cute little pink handbag that I basically just use for like aesthetic. I just like how it looks with the outfit and it's adding a little bit more pink into the outfit as well because I'm trying to get little little hints of pink throughout the outfit that'll just kind of complement it so without it being overwhelming and I feel like this is just a cute little thing to add into the outfit to keep things looking girly and cute and Valentine's Day as well. Just to finish off this outfit I did include these heart-shaped earrings. I feel like it was just the finishing touch to make the outfit feel a little bit more Valentine's Day without bringing down the outfit or just like adding too much to it. I feel like these would just be the perfect touch to finish it off. I also like the fact that they're gold. They match all the jewelry that I have. So these were just kind of a must for my outfit. So for my second outfit, day two, I started my look off with this dress. This is a dress from Chic Wish, which if you haven't seen my most recent video on Chic Wish, I did a whole winter clothing haul. I found so many affordable, really good quality pieces in that video so definitely give that video a watch if you are looking for some stable pieces that are more feminine like this but this is the dress that i'm using to start the look off it's got this pleating in the front and a very fitted top i think a really good way to go with this would actually be to layer all red with this like if you have a red coat red heels and a red handbag i feel like that would be definitely give off more of a valentine's day feel but i decided to go all pink because i was trying to keep this one very girly and pink and cute but still giving it a little bit of that valentine's flair since i have a sleeveless dress i do want to layer this up a little bit so that it's a little bit more wearable for the cold weather so i ended up going for this coat which is another piece from my chic wish haul this is my new favorite <laughs> I'm just obsessed with this coat right now. It has this beautiful pink faux fur collar and then it just has like that nice tailored look. It actually comes down a little bit longer, which I prefer. I feel like it just gives you such a 
elevated look, especially with this collar. But the material also is really good and it's at such a good price point for the quality of this. I was so impressed with this one. It also comes with this belt around the waist, so I feel like that just brings in the waist. I want to make sure that I'm not getting my figure lost in the outfit, so I layered this on top of it, and the two just look like they are perfect together. For this outfit, I also went for my pink shoes again because I do feel like they just went really well with the whole look that I was going for, just keeping to the all pink. So I went for these, and then I also went for my little pink handbag again. And this handbag and these shoes are really making my Valentine's Day outfits this year. I feel like they just really keep it looking cute and girly, but balanced. It's not too much. So for this next one, I really wanted to tone things down a little bit and come up with something that was a little bit more wearable for like if you just want to do a casual Valentine's Day outfit. So this is an idea I came up with. What I'm using to start this look off is this top. This is actually one I'm renting from Newly right now. It is just the cutest ruffly sweater and it has like the very soft white color, cream color. And then you've got the hints of pink and little teal blue throughout the whole thing. I feel like it just brings a very fun and bright happiness to it without it being overwhelming and too much. And it's also a very comfortable sweater, so that's a bonus. So just find like a girly cute sweater like this that has a little hint of pink in it, I feel like can be transformed into a really cute Valentine's Day outfit. And then I decided to go for a trendy pair of wide leg jeans. Those loose styled jeans are definitely a trend this year. So I wanted to come up with something that was a little bit more on the trendy side. So I felt like this was just kind of the piece that would do that for me for this outfit. The whole loose oversized style. I feel like these two pieces just worked really nicely together because the sweater is a little bit cropped. So it just kind of hit at the high waist at a nice point. So I did have fun with the accessories for this outfit because I am trying to keep this one a little bit more young person feeling. <laughs> Is that the right word? So I ended up pairing these tennis shoes with the wide leg jeans. And I mean, these just are very wearable and they're everyday shoes. Um, a little bit of my style with it, with the, the copper on the toe. A pair of tennis shoes with wide leg trousers and a cute pink sweater. I feel like it's such a cute look and it's very easy and achievable for most people. So I just want to give that a, a try and I really like it. But my last accessory for this outfit is a headband and it's this really pretty pearl headband that I purchased from um, my trip to the Lumberjack Fancy store in Charleston and I have been wearing this so much. But the thing that I wanted to point out with this one is it has those pearls stitched on there pearls are so big this year they are so big on on the trend radar they are just something that everybody is pulling out and wearing and they're such a classic so and then i did include a piece of outerwear for this look because this is the coat that i've been wearing with it um, recently i have been really into drowning myself in oversized coats and this is one that i'm renting from newly at the moment and i absolutely love it it's so oversized it's a size medium and it's huge but you're literally just wrapped in this cozy comfortable big jacket and it just feels amazing it's like got this really pretty soft fur on the outside you've got the very trendy balloon sleeve which i think just adds that volume that i always love in my sleeves and i've just been seeing a lot of these around recently so This is outfit four for day four of my Valentine's Day outfits. And I do think that this is going to be the one that I'm going to wear for my Valentine's Day dinner date with my husband because this dress is 100% my dream dress. I mean, ugh, this fabric is incredible. But okay, the dress, we got to talk about the dress. This piece is a mini style. So it's got that shift style. It is long enough for me, which I... I do struggle with that sometimes with my height. The thing that really just drew me to this piece was the neckline and the back of the dress, which I will show you in just a second. But the front of this dress has this really simple, very tasteful neckline. You still have that sleeveless style with the ruffles in the front, which I just think is 
stunning. The fabric of this is really pretty too. It just kind of reflects, has that very luxurious look to it, very dressy piece. But now is the time to talk about the back because this is what drew me and just totally sold me on this dress. Um, the back of this dress is everything. I love the low backs in dresses and when you have a really very tasteful neckline in the front, very minimal, and then you have this statement back in the in the back of the dress, I just think it's such a beautiful look. Very sexy but still wearable at the same time, not too much. I think it's perfect for if you like that princess core but you like it modern, you don't like it to be too overwhelming, I feel like this is the perfect piece for that. So I really wanted that dress to stay the statement of the outfit. So I wanted to have accessories and outerwear that would complement keep it muted and keep the focus on the dress. So I went for all black outerwear and accessories, including shoes. So the shoes that I ended up going for with this dress are actually these over the knee boots. I felt like it would add the warmth that I would need. The boots are just more wearable right now for where we are at in the weather right now. So before I show you the coat that I wore with it, I did want to mention that I included my black velvet hair bow with this look because I just felt like it was adding a little bit more of that trendy look to it with the hair bows and keeping it a little bit more girly without doing too much to the outfit. I just want to get a little bit of my personality into the outfit without overwhelming it and I felt like this was just a really good way to do that. Um, but then the outerwear that I used to complete this look is actually just my go-to classic black faux fur collar coat. Um, it makes this outfit very wearable for right now so I did need to have something that would kind of layer it up especially since it's a sleeveless piece and I want to keep it with that skin showing and everything. This just makes it so that I can actually wear it out and about and I love how you have like the ruffles peeking out at the bottom of the, the coat. I think it's just really pretty. This outfit I would actually like some input because I had a couple different ways that I wanted to wear this and I'm going to share them and see which ones you guys like. But the piece that I used to start this look off was actually this dress. This is a dress from Anthropology. And actually I was looking at the reviews on this dress and a lot of people didn't really like it, um, but there are those select few like me who absolutely love it. But I mean, I do tend to like more statement pieces. So if it's not really your thing to wear a big dress like this, then you probably won't like it. But for those of us who love a big statement dress like this, this is it. So for this outfit, I really wanted to keep it very neutral and then just have pops of red and pink throughout the outfit. So starting it off with this piece, which in itself is very glamorous, and you could also layer something underneath it, like a pink top or like a pink ruffled blouse, a red blouse. Although red, I feel like if you go with too much red with this, it might end up looking more Christmassy just because it has like that gold undertone but you could still do it. This is where I had my dilemma for this outfit. So I have these two pair of shoes that I could not decide between. So I felt like I would turn to my community for help. <laughs> um, so I have this pair of Lulu heels that I wear all the time. They're just a nice neutral pair, have a little bit of that heel, which I do feel like gives you more of that leg in this dress, just a little bit more height, makes it a little bit makes you look a little bit more trim, I feel like. And then I also have this option with the, the champagne slip-on heels, which are also from Lulu's. These are very affordable and they just really dress up the look. But I do feel like these kind of, since I have so much material with the dress, I feel like these were a little bit too bulky with the bows on there. I don't know. I'll show you both and you'll see what I mean. But I did like how they looked with the dress. But then these, I felt like were just a safe way to go with these nude heels. So honestly, like I liked both of them. I just, I just want to hear your input on it. So for this outfit, since I'm keeping it very neutral, I felt like the gold heart earrings just once again worked really well with this outfit. Um, and it's adding a little bit, just a very small, minimal um, accessory to make it feel a little more Valentine's. And then I included my lovely red handbag which the only thing with this one is I was trying not to make this one very Christmassy but I do feel like it worked and then as my outerwear I did include 
this neutral overcoat. Since I was trying to keep this more of a neutral color palette, um, I felt like this kind of just tied it all together. And I definitely did need an overcoat with this one because the dress is sleeveless. I decided not to layer anything underneath it. So I felt like this kind of just finished it off. Okay, this next outfit is another anthropology purchase. They're having so many good sales right now and I just could not help myself because I have been eyeing these dresses. This is from a brand called Hutch. These styles where I've been seeing these bows, big bows on the bust and in crop tops and even in the back of dresses, I just feel like it's such a statement. And there are so many different color options for this piece as well. I personally went for the navy dress because I barely have any navy in my closet. I love it for its sweetheart cut. I don't own a lot of strapless styles, but this one I actually really, really like. And I feel like this dress is just a classic all around special occasion piece. Depending on the accessories and shoes and colors that you went for, you could really turn this into whatever you wanted. So once again, I decided to go for all pink because I want those pink accessories with the dress to kind of make it feel a little bit more of that Valentine's Day feel. Of course, I go for my pink shoes, my pink Lulu heels that you've been seeing throughout this entire video and my pink handbag. And then as far as outerwear, I decided to go for my Chic Wish coat because I felt like it just matched really well with the accessories and it was a perfect length for the length of the dress and I definitely need the outerwear for that dress because once again I've got the skin showing I feel like I've been covering up so much for the winter and I just want those I just want a little bit of skin showing again but this coat just makes it so that I can wear that strapless style without being uncomfortable this is just like such a Valentine's Day feel coat too. And it doesn't have to be Valentine's Day either. I feel like this is such a good all around just basic winter coat if you have a very feminine style. This last outfit, I feel like we are ending with a very cute girly outfit without it being too much. I am using this sweater that I got from my Chic Wish haul. This is like that very chunky knit, cozy, wintry sweater, but it's very girly. It has that soft pink. You even have the hearts on it, which of course just gives it the Valentine's Day feel that I'm trying to go for with this outfit. So for this outfit, once again, I wanted to do that pink and red combination. So I went for this red tulle skirt. This is a tulle skirt that I got from a brand called Simple Retro. I got it in a size large and this one, I love the tooling on this, but underneath it you have this glitter. The skirt itself, the layer underneath it is like a pink color. So the glitter underneath it just makes it feel a little bit more dressy and um, special occasion feel, I guess. And then of course I went for my pink shoes again because it just kind of helps the pink pop out a little bit. And then also my pink purse ones again, um, just my favorite go-tos right now. gonna go make some more coffee but I do hope that you all enjoyed this and got some ideas let me know which outfit was your favorite what you would do to change it to make it your own um, I love hearing how you all would change it up to kind of make it your style but anyway I need to go I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend and I will see you very soon in the next video bye